Man, that land of yours sure looks juicy. Would be a shame if something happened to it. Welcome back fellow court borders to another installment of Think Outside the Deck Box. The casual commander social contract states that you normally don't destroy lands. <coughs> but what about stealing the strongest or most dangerous land on the field just to prevent the strongest player to get out of hand too quickly for the cost of just one basic land? Let's look at this wonderful reserved list card called Political Trickery and we'll talk about the price in a second here. So let's look at this English version of this card from Mirage. For two colorless and a blue, Political Trickery is a sorcery that allows you to choose a land from your side and your opponents and switch them out. So in other words, you choose your weakest, normally a basic land, and your opponent's strongest land and change control for both of these players so that the other player respectively gets the land that was just chosen. Right now this card can be had for around two euros or three to four dollars depending also on condition and it is a reserved list card. In the reserved list buyout corona craziness this card peaked as high as like 20 bucks at some point so there is quite some room to grow. In my opinion, just get this card, get it out of the way, and you will never have to worry about it. This card can't fall much further since it is protected by the reserved list. But now let's look at what cards you could steal with political trickery. The first card that comes to mind is Gaia's Cradle. If some player is playing this reserved list card, it's quite expensive. And being able to steal it with this 2-3 dollar card is just so beautiful. You take out their strongest land and in the worst case it just gives you probably one mana. If you're playing multiple creatures it gives you a couple of mana. Even if it's not your colors you're taking out their strongest piece of their mana base. If you're playing against a enchantment deck maybe there is a Sarasanctum lying around you could take that. With the new Ixalan lands coming, the flip lands, the I'm not trying to pronounce that, Great Door, on the back side gives mana equal to the amount of permanent cards in the controller's graveyard. So stealing that land and taking out a strong land from the mill deck or Muldrotha deck is also a wonderful target for political trickery. One move I did stealing a land with political trickery was stealing a Maze of If while having lethal damage on the board and stealing the Maze of If actually let me win since I was able to deal enough damage to my opponents and without it the strongest attacker would have been taken out and I wouldn't be able to have won the game. So even taking out non-mana lands from your opponents like Mazes of Ith could actually also win you the game. Now as the name states, political trickery is probably mostly played in political decks like Zedru for example who wants to actually give cards to your opponents and in this case you even get something for it by stealing your opponent's land and giving one of yours which lets you draw more cards and gain you more life. Right now I am playing this card in my Angus McKenzie deck which is also quite political who's a fog on a stick and I love playing these shenanigan cards in those types of decks. And lastly a deck that doesn't exist anymore but I loved to play it in Atrus Oracle of Half-Truths, where I played multiple of these unique and unknown cards where your opponent always had to read what was given to you in a face-up or face-down pile, knowing that I might steal their most valuable piece of land and therefore they had to choose if they put it in the face-up or face-down pile. This card is played in less than 1% of decks, even less than 2,000 decks in total of the around 1.5 million decks that are listed currently on EDH Rec. So next time you're considering playing a political blue deck, try out Political Trickery. And now I want to hear from you in the comments, what lands would you steal with Political Trickery? Help me reach 500 subscribers by clicking this button here and the YouTube algorithm thinks that this video is one you would enjoy next. Have a beautiful day, see you there and bye bye!